So this is part two. What we're going to do, just go through briefly, go through Node, a little bit about what it is and um, setting up a simple server. And then in the next video, I'll expand this and use Express so we can create um, a web application. Okay, so what is Node then? Node is designed to build scalable network applications and it's basically JavaScript on your server. Node.js is a platform that is built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. It's very fast. So this means that your server-side code will run similar to the browser code. So existing JavaScript skills, they're transferable. Just need to be mindful that on the server there's no DOM. But once you've used Node a little bit, you'll get used to that. But all your other JavaScript skills, like understanding prototypes um, and, and everything to do with JavaScript, it's all transferable. Node.js has a single thread, and it uses callback functions to keep the code running so it doesn't stop while something is being processed. So when you come to install it, it's really simple. You'll just want to go to nodejs.org. So as you can see here, there's one for the various platforms. I'm on a Mac, so I'm not going to, well, I guess I could download it, but I'm not going to go through the actual install process. There's loads of guides for that. But what you'd do if you're on a Mac is you'd click on this down and download it. Then you would want to open up Terminal, go to the directory where it is, unzip it. You'd want to run dot configure from the terminal and what this will do is configure just checks that everything's alright then you'd run the command make and this will make the source code or build the source code then you want to install it so you'd use sudo make install this would install node and then after all that to verify that it's worked you can do um, node dash dash version so if all has gone well, when you do node dash dash version, you will get this. If or well, it will be your specific version number. So also, once you install node, you get npm. And what npm is? That's the node package manager. Okay. This is a package manager that's used with node to install packages. It's kind of obvious, I guess. It's built into Node. So NPM has a directory of modules that can be installed really easily. You can install a module locally or globally, right? But if you install it globally, then you have command line access to the um, method calls. What I'll do now is I think is we'll create a project, really simple project, and create a simple server, see that it's working on the local host and maybe do something with uh, reading a file create a file and read it in the server okay so the first thing you want to do when you create a project is you want to well you want to make the folder first so let's cd to my desktop so um, these commands that I'm going to be using um, to change the cd is change directory I'm going to um, use mkdir in a sec and that is to make a directory these are all just unix um, commands this there's nothing to do with node so let me just make a directory we'll call it a test app okay and what we want to do we want to change into that directory and then we're going to run this command called npm init okay so once we run this it's going to ask us a load of questions. So, we'll do, let's go through this. So, we set the version of our app, description, test app for tutorial, entry point, server.js. So, you can just click next for all these. I mean, unless. License, right. So, what this is doing. If I open this folder. Okay, so what I've got now is this package.json. So what this is is if anyone 
any of the developers come to your project, this is just holds the information for the project really. And as we install modules, which I'll, we'll go through when we do Express, is once you start installing modules, you can add them to the package.json as dependencies. So what this will mean is that if someone gets your project, they can run a command which is npm install, or they can open this file and there will be a there will be um, an object in here which has the dependencies for the project, and it will include all of the modules that are required for the project to run. So it's a really handy handy file package.json. So yeah, so. Uh, it's not a necessity to run npm in it for your project, but I would definitely say you may as well. It takes two seconds to do it, and it can help you in the future if you come back to it, or it can help other developers come into your project for the first time. So yeah, and it's really simple. Right, so we've done that. So now what we're going to do, we're going to, uh, we'll create our main file. Let me clear this. So let's create server.js and let's open that in Dreamweaver I think so it'll be the easiest so in here server.js is going to be our um, main file for this for this server it's going to be our, our only our only file that we make in this video so what we want to do is we want to create the server and we want to assign a port to listen okay so when we do that it means that when we go to the local host on this assigned port we will see our server and from there we can create our application as big as we want or as small as we want it doesn't matter but once we start including things like express then you can create full websites there okay so let's get started so what we want to do first is we want to include a module so let's include the HTTP module um, if you've ever done any work in CommonJS then this will seem really familiar all we're doing is we're requiring this module HTTP which is something that is is part of node you don't need to download it and we're assigning it to this variable so now let's create our server so let's just call it uh, server equals so then we're going into this HTTP module calling this function create server and what we want to do is we want to put this function and it has a request and a response object the request is the request that was um, sent to this which would be this port so it will be local host and we'll give it 4000 or something and the response is what we're going to send back so let's do response dot right head and what this is is we're telling the browser what type of content to expect so 200 means all good then we want to give it a content type of what do we want to do, we'll do text plain I think, because that's all we're going to send back is some simple text so this might look a bit weird at the moment but it'll all make sense in a minute, I've missed a back in. Right, so then we're going to use response.write and what we're going to do here is this is akin to um, if you've used JavaScript in the browser this would be like document.write and you want to write something to the page so this is very similar to that so if we just put um, my first node so okay and then what we want to do is we need to end the response. We need to tell the page that that's the end of content. Otherwise, it will just stay. You know when you see the loading icon on your browser? If we don't end the response, then it will think that there's still more to come. 
Oh shit. Let's put the quality chart on this. Da, da, da. Right, so end the response and then what we need to do is now we need to assign it to a port. So if we go server dot listen and then we could give it any port we want, not 80. So what I'll do is a lot of people you'll see is um, 8888 or 3000. So just for argument's sake, I'm going to put 4000. So this this is the port that our domain, which in this case is going to be localhost, is listening to. So then what we'll do after that, we'll just do a console.log and we'll put um, server running on port. Thousand. Right, so now that's saved, what you need to do is once you've got that file all sorted, is you'll want to start the server. So how you do that is you use the node command and then the name of your file. In our case, it's server. You don't have to put the um, JavaScript extension here because node automatically expects the file to be javascript so we do node server we get our message that we wrote server running on port 4000 so then if we go to the browser and we go localhost 4000 okay this is intro this is actually this is a good thing with doing um, live coding as you're recording the video let's see what this problem is all about so let's have a look at the error with gate with response oh okay okay so I know what that is so the words I've put here is rec and res and I've written response here so to fix this I can either change that to res or I can change that to response so I'm just going to change them to res and then let's go back here and we'll start the server again go to port 4000 and there we go so that is literally the this the really low level simple node server up and running so let's expand that a little bit and what we'll do is we'll create a text file with a line of text and then we'll use um, Node's file system module to read the file, and we'll just out we'll console it, we'll output it to the console. Okay, so it's really simple. So let's go back to let's clear this. Okay, so let's create a simple file. Let's just call it um, mytext.txt. So then let's. Uh, let's open that in here actually. Let's just open this file and add a line of text to it. So this is my simple text file. Alright, so we've created a text file and what we want to do now is we want to open our Da, da, da. Yeah, we want to go back to our server and we'll just add a little bit of code here. But first, we want to include the file system module. So now we've included this, we have access to all the file system commands such as reading a file, writing, deleting, updating. So that's all from here. So what we want to do is we want to do fs.read file and then this takes three parameters and what we want to do is we want to pass path to the file encoding so encoding is easy utf8 for this and then a function with error in case there's an error getting the file and also the data we get back from the file okay so that's that so now the path to the file will be from where we are and it was just called mytext.txt okay so what we want to do we'll just do a check if there's an error we will 
return a log to the console of that error and then if there isn't an error meaning that we have actually found a file we're going to log out the data okay so let's go back to do 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 here let's clear this and then let's run the server again so what you're going to see here now is once we run the server because we've just put it to run automatically you're going to see um, server running on port 4000 and then directly after that we will see the contents of that text file that we created I can't remember what I wrote in it but it's just one one sentence yeah so this is my simple text file so yeah so I think I know that's a really brief overview of it but just for you to see how simple it is to actually get a server running in node that is it and you could expand on that to do whatever you could think of but if you want to create a, if you wanted to use node to create websites where you're doing the client and server then express is what you're going to want to use so in the next video we're going to expand on this we're going to add in express <laughs> Use um, one of Express's template engines to create web pages and handle routing as well. And then, what else could we do? Then, after that, we'll do a video on Angular and Mongo. And then, I think I'll do a few more videos where we focus on authentication with a module called Passport. And maybe we'll focus on creating APIs with Express using something called Swagger. So yes, there's a few things that we could do, but uh, yeah.